Hello, this is JP, and today I'm going to show you how to create a multiple exposure picture using Photoshop Elements and some of the very simple tools that are available to you. We're going to do this in a very clean method. We're not going to be using any of the selection tools or any of the cloning tools. We're actually going to be using um, adjustment layers to do this. So the first thing that I've done is I've taken four pictures and opened them up and these pictures were each taken on a tripod so that the background of each image is identical the only thing that's different as you can see is I've moved the lens to a different place on the desk now before I start the first thing I do is I always set the zoom factor on each of these pictures to be the same so in this case it's 6.21 and if you look at each picture they're they're all set to 6.21 it's gonna make this just a little bit quicker uh, moving forward so we're going to consider this picture up here in the upper right hand corner our base image and what we're going to do is we're going to copy the remaining three images into that picture so we're going to click on the first upper right hand image I'm going to click on its background layer right here and I'm going to drag it and drop it onto the base image and then I'm going to do that for each of the remaining images just grab the layer drop it click on this picture here grab its layer, drop it. Now when we open up that base image, we can see that we've got four layers, a background and three layers on that picture. So we're going to start by clicking on the background image, coming down to the bottom, and in your layers palette you have this little circle tool. It is for your adjustment layers, and we're going to click on the brightness contrast option. Okay. We're going to click on layer one, do the exact same thing. It keeps opening up an adjustment palette and we'll click on layer two and add the brightness adjustment. Okay. So now what we have is we have an image layer, an adjustment layer, the image, an adjustment, an image, and the adjustment, and then finally the background. This is going to allow us to merge everything so we have one image with four lenses sitting on the desk. So starting on the top we'll click on layer 3. Using and holding the Alt key if you move your cursor to the line that separates layer 3 and that adjustment layer you're gonna get this little double circle icon and if you click what happens is that layer gets indented and is actually clipped into this adjustment layer. If you then click on the white adjustment box. Come over here and make sure you have black selected, a paintbrush, and we're going to paint black right on top of this lens. Now what's going to happen is it's actually erasing in that adjustment layer, so it's going to allow us to see through that wherever we are painting black on. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, just real close. Now what we want to do is click Control I, and Control I flips and turns everything else black except for the lens allowing what's behind it to show through. So now we're able to see the lens in layer 2 show through. Next we're going to clip layer 2 to its brightness contrast layer. Hit the Alt key, put it right in between the two layers, click, it indents it, click on the brightness contrast layer, make sure you have black and a paintbrush and we're going to erase the lens that's in that layer. Now we're not really using the erase tool, we're using the black paintbrush tool which on a adjustment layer doesn't allow that to show through. We're going to do our control I to flip and now we've got that lens. Click on layer one, hit the alt key, clip it to the adjustment layer, click on the white adjustment layer underneath layer one and we're going to paint black right on top of the lens that just popped into the picture. And notice that there's some reflection on the desk. We're going to go ahead and do that, erase that reflection right there as well. Control I. And now we have a single image that looks like a multiple exposure image where we've got the one lens that's been replicated four times on the picture. You can use this with any subject. Just make sure you're using a tripod so that the background is identical. 
you can run into some issues where if the lighting changes, you can end up with some uh, funny shadows and things of that nature. So try and make sure that your lighting stays constant as well. If you use this technique, send me your pictures. We'll make sure we get them on the blog. Have a great day.